The Republicans are running with the word socialism. They're trying to say... They're trying to scare people. Scare people. It's communism. I'm here to tell you that this line that you get on all of the political shows from people is that it's a failure. We have to say yes to socialism, to the word and everything. We have to stop apologizing. Stop apologizing for socialism. Liberal actor Jim Carrey says Democrats need to embrace socialism. But our next guest is the daughter of political refugees from Cuba, her family experiencing the dangers of socialism firsthand. They escaped communist Cuba when they were 22 years old. Here to react, Cuban-American conservative who is running for U.S. Congress, Maria Elvira Salazar. She joins us today from Miami. Uh, Maria, good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Can you explain to me why so many people on the political left are talking about how great socialism would be? Because they have no idea whatsoever what they're talking about. I would invite anybody, including Mr. Kerry and Mr. Sanders, to go to Cuba for one week, live with a Cuban family with no water or electricity sometimes uh, during the day, not having a car, not having dollars, and living without air conditioning. And in, in a week, they will really figure out what socialism looks like. You know, Maria, but you, you listen to them on television, for instance, uh, politicians here in New York and elsewhere where they're talking about, look, uh, universal health care, uni- uh, free college, stuff like that. That sounds great. Sounds great. Absolutely. And being conservative does not mean being cruel. We all want our kids to go to a wonderful school. We all want every single American to have a good health care system or coverage. But we do not, we cannot expect or we cannot afford in order to help the poor and the needy for the whole country to become needy and poor. And we know that when you tax the rich, the rich leave. And then those are the people that are producing the jobs. And if you don't have a job, then you go into poverty because government does not produce any wealth. There you go. Look what's happening right now in this country. Sure. And Maria, that's why your parents left when they were in their 20s. But not only my parents, two million Cubans. You know, I live in Miami, the ultimate melting pot, where two million uh, Cuban refugees had to come to the United States because they were fleeing exactly that, socialism. Socialism is the golden rule. When, you, when socialism uh, invades a country, everything it produces is misery, uh, tyranny, and exile, and poverty, obviously. And that is your, uh, what your family has told you because they grew up there. Maria Elvira Salazar, she is well, running Well, not for only the- they told me, we saw it. Look at Cuba, look at Venezuela, right there. That's the perfect testimony to what socialism looks like. Look go. at Cuba, look at um, right. Caracas. Good point. All right. Maria Elvira Salazar running for the U.S. Congress. Thank you very much. That's right. All right.